Hello Stardust Simulation. Today in today's video I want to tell you a dream because it is Dream Wednesday. Dream Wednesday is really cool because I enjoy sharing dreams I've had that include lucid dreams, like, like astoundingly vivid dreams, creative dreams, just thought provoking dreams, like all kinds of crazy dreams. I, you know, I think maybe my brain just produces naturally excessive amounts of DMT and so I really enjoy sharing my dreams and I would definitely love hearing about your dreams too and maybe you can share them on a YouTube video as well or just type it in the comments because uh, I really think dreams are cool I think perhaps dreams can be possibly really your consciousness possibly like when when this body goes to rest it's kind of like putting something on charge and then the soul leaves the body and visits the infinity of realms and realities that one can experience my son might be walking in shortly um that can't can experience uh as as a as an infinite consciousness is what I think um, so with that said I am going to get into the dream so a few of my dreams have been kind of like long ish on, on these videos and I, I think today's dream is going to be a shorter one and I don't know about you but I remember dreams from when I was a little all the way from the time I was a little in this dream I was this was before I knew about parallel worlds and stuff like that because I was I was really young but I knew that there was this thing in physics where where if they say in physics if you meet if you ever meet your twin or the like don't don't go and meet them because if it's the other you from another universe the particles are the same and like charges repel and since you're made of the particles then the the natural occurrence is going to happen is you're going to explode the moment that you reach each other uh so there's some kind of physics theory that that says that that is what will happen so i knew that much because i this was a dream when i was younger and so uh it was like i was seemingly outdoors you know uh, I want to say like a dirt area type area with vegetation too but mostly it was like you know walking on dirt my, from my memory and uh, and like there was this veil but it wasn't something that you could see it was just there was a veil between this world and the next world over and somehow this wasn't something you could see or feel it was just you fit but you physically cross over this point and you walk into the parallel world which was the same as the other one and uh and walking through that uh i could hear the, my own voice and and i had a friend with me and and i was telling him i was like look um I can't talk to myself because if I do talk to myself then I know that based off of physics that it will cause an explosion and then I'll you know die or go away or something like that so I don't want to do that and hello this is future me about 30 minutes into the future from the point in time where past me from 30 minutes ago was sharing the dream. I have time traveled effectively 30 minutes into the future at this point and from this vantage point I can look back at past me and I can tell 
that I did leave out some details because I was kind of in a hurry. I knew my son was getting off the bus. So I was uh, attempting to, you know, tell the story as quickly as possible. So to bring it into better understanding, what occurred was I crossed through that veil that that you perceived and knew was there and it was invisible but you couldn't touch it or feel it or anything like that you just knew energetically that it was there and as soon as I crossed through the veil I heard my own voice meaning I heard the other me in that world and my friend there was another version of my friend in that parallel world as well and I warned them of, of uh, you know i warned about you know bumping into uh ourselves so that we did not experience that uh, f explosion based on physics and and i do remember us coming back somehow we decided that it would be safer to come back into our reality the dream is kind of vague so uh i'm going to um give you back over to past me and uh, whether you're you travel physically there to watch past me or you're just looking through the looking glass uh, either way is fine but I'm going to let past me continue with the story take it away past me basically um, I don't remember if I crossed back over into the regular world or my original world or if I uh, went or if I stayed I don't know that's all I remember of the dream and so I'm you know that was before I had a deep understanding of things like you know parallel worlds and, and, and quantum jumping and things like that which are um, which is basically shifting into another reality, which is, I personally believe that we're in this continuous flow of shifting realities, like we're in this eternal, eternal, infinite flow, transitioning from reality to reality. Like the moment I started this video, that's already in the past, and it's another reality. It's another node on the grid of space and time it's another node and or it's a frequency another frequency um, each second each minute that has passed throughout the duration of this video has been another node or a point of frequency where the energy has changed and the past doesn't actually exist what really is happening is my energy has the energetic molecular atomic structure if you will just vibrated on a different frequency to not to go too deep but i do follow a guy named oh man ken theoria apophasis i don't even know if i pronounced that correct but that's his uh, YouTube, and I'm learning about magnetism and how it pertains to the core nature of reality. Ken over there says it's very the reality is very simple, and the makeup of reality is 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 is, is, is like we we are in this ether and like for example gravity is just magnetic acceleration towards something and it really gets complex so it's an alternative way to to view this reality which is kind of kind of fundamentally the basis of this channel is to well i want to say that we okay i want to say that the basis of this channel is to to help you navigate the stardust simulation and 
navigate this reality and with that is the understanding of the nature of reality so to learn different um, modalities to use to navigate and understanding different theories on the nature of reality can help encapsulate some kind of understanding that's some kind of relative understanding that's good enough for for you to navigate in a way that help that's conducive to your success in the simulation here um whatever path you're attempting to take you know and so the idea is to share those types of things to help you navigate and also part of living in the simulation and this reality is is just the fun there are fun elements to it you know there, there are good things about it I mean you know we talk about just I'm going off on a different thread here or discussion and I may be getting off track with several threads off of several threads but you know you got to think that this reality does have good things and fun things like pizza is fun <laughs> it's, just, it's fun it's tasty it's uh it's you know like one of those foods that's just you know you you know like everybody likes it and all that stuff and uh so yeah my son's gonna pull up and i would prefer to go ahead and end the video before he gets off the bus so that um i can you know get him taken care of situated we got chores to do we got stuff to do but um but we'll talk about more of all this stuff in further videos also so i appreciate you uh, watching today and i hope and please share what you think your thoughts on my dream uh share some of your dreams and um as we i got this phone sitting on a book bag on my chair on my book bag that's my tripod so i'm gonna go uh, welcome my son to the door and here he comes Who is it? I said F F FBI, open up. Me. How do I know it's the FBI? FBI, open up. How do I know it's not really... Who's the FBI? See, I knew it wasn't the FBI.